out here soon. And it's not a very good idea to be here when he does. Well, well he's a... He's a... Well, well, well you'll see when he gets here. <laughs> Werewolf vs. Dragon is about Ulf, an orphaned werewolf living at the RSPCB, which is the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Beasts. And his world is turned upside down when one day a dead dragon arrives. And he's got to uncover a very dark secret and go after the most villainous beast hunter in the world. Who's your... Favourite character in the books? Favourite characters? Mm. Um, I love two favourite characters. <laughs> <laughs> um, my favourite characters are Druce the Gargoyle, because um, he sits on the rooftop pulling ugly faces, and, uh, and Orson the Giant, and he's, he handles the beast, and he's so big he can't fit in a house, and he has to sleep in a barn on a pile of grain. <laughs> uh, my favourite would probably be the baddies. Uh, just the most evil beast hunter in the world and his two henchmen, blood and bone. <laughs> and mine would be Professor Faraway, who's a ghost. He was the world's first cryptozoologist, an expert on rare and endangered beasts. Who is Ulf? Tell us about him. Ulf's our hero. He's brave, he's kind, and he tries to protect his friends who are all other beasts. Wolf's a werewolf, and his enemy is the most villainous beast hunter in the world. Where are the books set? I'm not going to tell you where the book's set. Uh, it's a secret, um, but I can tell you that it's set in a remote place by the coast, surrounded by mountains, um, and it's a thousand acre beast park, um, crossed between a safari park um, and a stately home. How long did the book take to write? The series, An Awfully Beastly Business, took 
about two years to develop, which was putting together all of the characters and storylines, but each book uh, takes approximately six months. How does it work, writing together? Interesting question. Works well. Um, uh, if one of us is having loads of bright ideas, it's great. You know, sometimes you have an off day, there's always someone to pick up the slack. So it takes the pressure off you individually um, and, and it gets the job done. How long have you known each other? We've known each other all our lives. Guy and I were born on the same lane. Um, we went to the same nursery school, primary school, and we met Matt at secondary school. Since then we've lived and rented flats together and been to university together. So basically, we've known each other all our lives. Was it obvious that one day you'd write a series of books together? I think we were all into very different things when we were growing up. Dave was into his art, Guy was into his sport, I was quite into music. But I think the, m the most important thing is that we're all hanging out together uh, when we were children, so it makes sense that we've all now writing children's books. What's the best thing about being a writer? The best thing about being a writer is that you get to make things up and then sooner or later those things almost become real in the world around you. <laughs>